So if you remember, this door's got to be replaced because they broke that too, smashed it. Um, they pried the locks here. It looks like they used a screwdriver, jammed it in there real tight, broke these things, they don't lock at all. And then it looks like they put a, something in here because it's even messed up back here. They, bring, they put something in here to pry it and they popped it open. So, you know, if, they, if somebody wants to get in, they're going to get in. But at least I'll uh, replace this lock. Maybe stop somebody from being tempted just to walk in. Especially when we're sleeping. Alright, let me get on that. Hey guys. Got the camper behind me. Um, still waiting on the insurance to tell me what, what they're going to evaluate on. I did get a call from supervisor of the adjuster he's sending it to his supervisor because it's not just a um simple black and white you know cut a check because of the the way it was built is is he said it's basically fine art and um you can't just compare it to the cheap stuff that other people use to build their camper so he is sending it to his supervisor to make sure that i get the maximum amount of of money to replace this stuff so i'm i'm cool with that i appreciate that working harder to get it done but it's going on three weeks now so um anyways the lock on the camper is broken i did some research even though the door has to be replaced i want to go ahead and replace the lock on the door so that nobody else can uh, try to break in while it's sitting in front of the house uh, or if we go camping in with it i don't want anybody trying to break it in before I place, before I replace the door at least. So with that in mind, let me show you this little doohickey here. Okay, it comes as a little box. Imagine these are the directions. Maybe just the invoice. Directions. This is the locking mechanism. There's four screws in the back there, and I'm pretty sure I just simply take out the other four screws. Oh, brand new mechanism if I need that, or sorry, the door plates. And then here's the keys. So, are they all the same key? Thinking that they're all the same key. Comes apart like that. We can see go together real easy because look over here. I believe you just take these. Uh, four screws out here and then replace it. I think it's really simple. We're gonna find out in just a minute. Yeah, that door plate that covers the latch has to come off too before it'll come apart. You can do it first before you take the four screws off the back of the door. Or you can do it like I did. Four screws off first and then the door latch.
Okay, so here's the new inside door plate. And here's the new uh, latching mechanism. And it goes back together just like it came apart. You put one side in first, and then the other side, and then screw it together. Now here's that inside door plate, and I'm going to use the same one that came off. Might as well just use it. There's nothing wrong with it. It works. Use the same screws and everything. Keep it simple. Now I think the toughest part of this whole project was making sure that red locking mechanism that that sorry that controls the deadbolt when you're inside the camper you have to line that up that's what you can't see me doing right now I had to line up that red um, button turn knob whatever you want to call it I had to line that up and fit it on the piece that was sticking out if you don't line that up right it's not going to go together right, and the door is not going to lock right. So learn from my mistakes. Get it done right first. Mistake number two, that metal door handle, the one that opens the door, is just flopping around. It has to be depressed as you attach the plate to the back of the door. It cannot be open. If you leave it open, it's going to flop around. It's not going to catch the inside mechanism. So like, how I've, see how I've got it pushed up against the plate now? That's how I was supposed to do it from the beginning. So line up your little red knob and then push the, pl the door handle in, the one that opens the latch, push it all the way in, line up your screws, and then tie it all together.
That's it? Grant, no, well, this, this whole thing. You gotta replace the whole, the whole thing. thing. That's it? That's it. I mean, they still owe me a door because they, you can't you know, you can't fix that. That's broken fiberglass. I mean, it's kind of cheap, but it was only thirty five dollars. So. I mean, you could replace the door if you wanted to, could you? What do you mean, replace the door? Yeah, you're gonna it, have to. It would be a pain in the butt, wouldn't it? No, it all has to come off for the do the siding anyways. Everything has to come off this thing. Isn't there roof? No. But Honestly. I mean, like this part. All this has to come off. All this has to come off. That stays, and the corner stays. I'm just putting my plywood right up in there. All that's gonna come off. Let me see if this locks real quick. Watch your face. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Yep. Ready? Nope. Okay, so we got a lock now for the camper. Where's the Skipper? In the camper. Oh. He actually came in here. What are you doing? He said. Oh, he found this toy. <laughs> He's like, let's go camping. <laughs> All right. Hi, son. <laughs>